According to the Passover story, the lamb's blood was used on the doorpost to redeem the Israelites. This is from Exodus 12, the first introduction to the Passover. I shall go through the land of Egypt on this night and shall strike every firstborn in the land of Egypt from man to beast and against all the gods of Egypt I shall mete out punishment. I am Hashem. Ever since the destruction of the temple in AD 70, okay, so no more lamb. No, we don't have lamb. So what do you eat now? Oh, we eat uh, chicken, fish, grain, grain. Well, we conserve the Jacob sheep. We don't um, use them for meat, or we, we don't use their wool as well. So it's more environmental project as well. It's returning an animal to its source, uh, its original habitat. There are no Jacob sheep currently in Israel. And what we hope to do is establish a biblical Jacob sheep heritage park, which will conserve these animals, right, Tikva? So they'll have a home and they'll be able to be preserved. They are the descendants of the sheep that existed in ancient Israel 3,000 years ago. We actually are an agrarian culture. The Jewish people, the Israelites, they were all agrarian ones. Um, both Old Testament, New Testament, is all about parables and mentions of livestock, especially sheep. Now, sheep has been forgotten largely because the Jews have been dispersed. They've had first the Babylonian captivity and then the Roman captivity. So, Our project relies not only on faith but on hope as well. So what, what makes these sheep... Do? Oh, hey, no, no eating my hair. Take that hair away. Yeah. yeah. I'm watching God's hand acknowledge the supernatural so these sheep as they came they there's acknowledge there's doing our thing and acknowledging god and if he says i see in the dream and the angel he's telling me spotted speckled and all of that rabbi felix strox the habad emissary from white rock came to visit the jacob sheep last november and he had the message of how the sheep bring the whole world together. Jenna, do you know where this one's mommy is? Out in the field? All right, let's go find your mommy. We're amazed at how the sheep have brought people together, especially different um, Christians of different denominations. I prayed, you know, every morning I pray and read the Bible and ask God to please help me. I don't, I'm not looking for money, but please bring me people. And I get someone knocking on my door here again. And the gentleman who came in here was inspired to want to pick this location for uh, Gil and Jenna, who were inspired to have these Jacob sheep. Came and knocked on our door, and I thought, I what are you talking about holy sheep? We're, we're kind of confused a little bit about it. No mummy yet? No mummy found? Nope. Oh, there she goes. Looking, yeah. It's a, to me, it's a fulfillment of scripture and just a lovely project. And especially, you know, especially interesting is that these, these two could, couldn't have done this on their own. They have to feed it now. <laughs> Otherwise, I might leave, leave you alone. And each one of these, I noticed they've got name tags on. Yes, each sheep has a name and they have a Hebrew name. Hebrew names, so biblical names. Biblical names. Wow, they're aggressive, aren't they? You okay? <laughs> so I know there's one in particular that I'm always looking out for because I had the privilege of being there when she was birthed. And it was a jo such a joy that I ended up calling her Joy. I have never heard it ever spoken about in either Christian or Jewish circles that the sheep that Jacob raised are still alive in existing in their descendants, just like the Jewish people, they need to return. Now the hopes are that the Israeli government will supply the transport. Hopefully that would be good because the price I got from Air Canada is quite high. <laughs> Tell me, what was the price I got to uh, Let's say you could buy a car. Okay, so it's, uh, yeah. tens of thousands is what we're talking. <laughs> We, obviously, the males that we produce us here will be coming with us to Israel. We will not be selling any of them or making meat of them or anything. It's not a commercial no, but enterprise. So, so, are there Jacob sheep right now in Israel? There isn't any. These will be the first that you're introducing yeah, this to is, Israel? Yes, this is nothing short than a miracle. 